If you want to be a successful YouTuber, what do you think is the most important thing? The topic, the title, the video itself. While all that is true, unless and until someone clicks on your video, it is all useless. So how do you get the whole world to click your video? The answer is thumbnails. Want to get great tips on your content creation journey? Then drop a like and hit that subscribe button right away. How to create great thumbnails. It is said that around 78% of the YouTube audience first looks at the thumbnail and then the title and then clicks on it if they feel enticed by it. With the rise of AI, it is pretty obvious that many YouTubers use it to create thumbnails. But we don't want you to be like the many YouTubers. We want you to be the best. So in this video, we will teach you exactly how to create a good thumbnail that truly stands apart. You probably clicked this video first by looking at the thumbnail first and then the title right? Now that you know how important thumbnails are, let's get down to business. First things first, let us take an example for a video. How to make strawberry cake with three easy ingredients. Now before you go to some AI tool and type it down, I want you to give a moment of thought to this topic. I want you to think like an audience. If you were the audience, what would you expect on a video thumbnail? Set some expectations and ask ChatGPT for some directions. In our case, we would get something like this. The setting. The ChatGPT prompt asks us to set up a neat light kitchen counter or table for a clear view. For the main parts, the ChatGPT prompt will tell you to have a new strawberry cake on a stand or plate in the middle, showing its bright pink color and tempting texture. For added parts, three main ingredients are shown next to the cake like a bowl of fresh strawberries, a box of cake mix, and a carton of whipped cream or frosting. It could also have a whisker spoon to hint at the making process, a bit of greenery, or more strawberries scattered around for a pleasing look. Text, big bold words on top saying, how to make strawberry cake. Below, smaller words with, with three easy ingredients. Now this prompt is good, but it is useless. The video title shows that I will be teaching you how to make a thumbnail using AI, but this is just a prompt, so what can you do with it? You can use this prompt to create an amazing thumbnail for your YouTube video. Steps to create. One, go to Adobe Firefly and sign up. Most of the tools are free and are in beta so that it helps small creators like you and me. After signing up, you can explore all the tools. Who knows, it just might spark another idea for you. Two but for this tutorial, we will be using the Generative Fill tool. So go ahead and click on this tool and explore around. Three, after you are done setting up the tool, we can get started. Ready to create a cool thumbnail? Here we go. Four, I want you to start with an empty page so that you can unleash your creativity with the help of this AI tool. Five, use the brush to mark the whole section of the empty page. Now you will see the typical transparent format pattern. We will get started by making the setting. As prompted, we are using the transparent format since we have to generate a neat light kitchen counter or table for a clear view as prompted by ChatGPT. Now, after marking in the prompt bar below, enter the same words that were suggested by the ChatGPT prompt. So go ahead and type in a neat light kitchen counter. Six, remember you should be specific about what you want to do. That is why you cannot enter counter or table. If you are unsatisfied, you have other three options that you can choose from. Oh, so you are still not happy with it? No problem. Adobe Firefly allows you to generate more. Just click on the more box with the plus symbol and you can get more options to choose from. Amazing, isn't it? Seven. All right, now you have the kitchen counter. Now let us get started by cooking the cake. Oh, I mean cooking the thumbnail. Eight. What do you need to bake a cake? Some ingredients. You are smart, aren't you? While that's what we need for the cake, we have some other tools that can be used to make our thumbnail. For the next part, we need to showcase our three ingredients. Nine. To do this, reduce the size of the brush and draw a bowl of strawberry. Don't worry, the AI will take care of the structure. Now let us use one of the tools before generating a bowl of strawberry. Click on the three lines which will open a settings menu choose on the conform instead of the freeform. This will allow the AI tool to generate the image only in the shape that you have drawn. Amazing, right? 10. 
Now enter a prompt like a bowl of fresh strawberries to generate an image. Make sure to generate more if it doesn't suit your taste, no pun intended. 11. Now it's time to generate the other two ingredients. Again, as you did for the strawberry bowl, draw rough shapes of a cake mix box and a whipped cream bag. Let AI do the work for you. 12. Here are some prompts that you can give to create the cake mix. A. A box of cake mix that is blue in color and has the words on it. B. Aesthetic cake mix box. 13. Here are some prompts that you can give to create the whipped cream. A. Whipped cream bag with pink cream inside it. B. Frosting for a strawberry cake in white color. 14. You can always make sure that you care by checking for the images that you need. If not, you know how to generate new ones. Make sure to explore other tools so that you can be more creative with your work. Also, make sure you are keeping up with the contrast of the kitchen counter you have set up and the background if you ever selected one. For example, if the background is a kitchen setting in a farmhouse, you might have to use the cake mix box in shades of yellow or shades of golden. 15. Always keep your target audience in mind while doing a thumbnail. Are you targeting excited teenagers or homely housewives? Always do your research. All right, let's go ahead with completing our thumbnail. 16. Next, add the hint that ChatGPT has prompted. Just to make sure this video shows the true potential of AI, I will use the prompt provided by ChatGPT, but you can go ahead and get creative. Remember, you should always keep your audience in mind. For example, if the target audience is teenagers, you can show an oven to give a hint to baking. Since teenagers want things quick, they would rather use an oven to make baking less hassle. If the target audience are housewives, you can use a whisk or spatula, like mentioned in the prompt. Their experience in cooking and baking is sure to attract them since they value procedure more than an easy experience. 17. All right, now enter the following prompts. A spatula inside a cake mix, or a whisker on a bowl of cream. You can even try to include humans. You can give prompts like a whisker and a cream bowl in the hands of a young women chef. Now you have all the components mentioned by the chat GPT prompt. 18. You can now generate a picture of a simple cake. Keep in mind, the thumbnail should match the expectations of the video title and purpose. Having a title telling cake with three ingredients and using a wedding cake on thumbnail spells for a disaster. Managing and matching the expectations of thumbnail and title is equally important. 19. Now generate a simple text to add to the thumbnail. As our AI tool suggests, let us stick with how to make strawberry cake. In big and bold letters on top and below, in smaller font size use with three easy ingredients. Again, remember to use font style and size that can suit your target audience. Oh, and don't you forget about the contrast. The font color should match with that of the whole thumbnail that you have made so far. 20. If you are facing any issue with the tool, you can always go to the help page on Adobe Firefly to check out how you can use the tool. Help is always there. Touch UPS. Now that you have reached the end of the baking process, uh, I mean the thumbnail creation process, make sure to give it a final look and add some watermark of your channel or some branding. Make it unique and snappy. Before you finalize your thumbnail, you can ask around for your friends for some feedback and suggestions. Try to create at least three versions of a thumbnail so that you have options to choose from. To get better at it, you can practice the whole process a few times. Play around with a few filters and tools to see if you can create something more exciting. Well, at this point you have a beautiful thumbnail that you made completely with AI tools and a bit of your creative juices. I hope the tutorial was as easy as the three ingredient cake. Now go ahead make a thumbnail for your YouTube video. Let us know how it goes in the comments. I hope I end up clicking the video which has a thumbnail made so spectacularly from this tutorial. Why stop at just a thumbnail using AI? Why not an entire channel using AI? Find out how AI creates a faceless YouTube channel in this video.